Hi Taurians, welcome back to my channel. This is the Sacred Sun Tarot and you're watching your November month end reading. This is for Taurian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. Also, do hit the subscribe button to stay updated with the videos and do write down in the comment section below how this reading resonates with you. For private sessions, please find my information in the description box. Let's get started. So this is Victorians. We are going to have a new spread here, Victorians. This is for month end. So what messages do we have from the higher self, Victorians and the person they're dealing with? Messages for Taurians. So, this is for Taurus. Emotions are running high. What's going on, Taurians? Emotions are running high. And what about your person? Oh, two cards wanted to pop out. We'll take just one. Dreams need a practical plan and don't let the pride get into your way. We'll give it here. So, yeah, full moon in Taurus. Dreams need a practical plan. So probably the person you're dealing with here, Taurians, this person is not quite aware of the practical implications of their plans. Or maybe it's all about planning, planning and planning. But this person is not in a situation or not in a condition to implement those plans. They have a lot of dreams, they have a lot of thinking, but on practical level, this person is not doing anything. Somebody who is very egoistic can be a Leo you are dealing with or Cancer. Somebody very emotional can be a Taurus like you. Somebody who is quite emotional. I think high emotions are on your part. And moreover, this person is full of pride and ego. What vibe I get here is that this person is very, very overconfident right now. Very overconfident. So let's get started and see what messages do we receive for the Taurians. This is your current situation. The moon. The moon, the moon is here. Super moon, moon. Okay. Lots of hidden secret emotions. Lots of emotions. What about the person you're dealing with? Ten, three of pentacles. So yes, I do get a vibe here that this person really wants to work on stuff with you. They really want to. But the problem is not their thinking they think very well they plan very well but i guess the problem here is their implementation this person is very good at thinking but they're not planning stuff well they they really need to put an effort what is this relationship about ten of pentacles wow beautiful ten of pentacles I do see that somebody in this equation really wants a long-term commitment, is really, really looking for a long-term commitment. But are they making enough steps? Are, you, are they taking enough steps in order to get that commitment? Okay. How are you looking at this connection? How are you looking at this connection right now? The Seven of Wands. You're planning to block this connection or probably you're blocking this connection at emotional level because somewhere at heart you know that despite of the long-term commitment the, despite of this long-term bond and contract there is still something your emotions or something which is not getting fulfilled probably you're blocking you're hiding the fact that you're blocking some emotions, you're blocking some something related to this connection. What about the person, how they are looking at this? The death. 
This person thinks that the connection is getting transformed really well. And they feel that they can actually transform this connection. What is there on their subconscious level? Okay, so four of wands. Subconsciously, you're thinking about this long-term stability with this connection. I'm getting a different vibe here, a different picture. We'll get back to it. Probably this is a situation where despite of being into a connection, you feel lonely, you feel secluded, you feel isolated and you feel that the requisite effort your person needs to make towards this connection, they're actually not making it. They're looking at this connection as dead. They're looking at this connection. I think this person really needs to change the perspective, the mindset by which they're looking at this connection. A major transformation is needed. They have a lot of plans, they have a lot of thoughts, but are they putting in the real effort for this connection? I don't think so. I see isolation here on your part and I think subconsciously there's somebody else you're missing here. The star. This person doesn't realize this. See, the hanged man is here. This person doesn't realize this, that there's still a lot of hope in this connection. They don't want to see. They don't want to realize that this, there's a lot of hope in this connection. So what I feel here, if I interpret the cards, I feel here that you're very emotional. You're going through a major emotional phase. And uh, the moon, the emotions, all these, both these cards depict the emotions. Probably you are blocking this connection because despite of being in this connection, you feel that you're alone. You, you're not supported by anybody. This can be a situation where you're married to somebody. This can be a married partner. Because I feel that there's somebody else in the picture, in your subconscious. You're thinking about a connection which is actually not there. This is with somebody else. This can be a twin. This can be a situation where you're married to somebody else who is this person and you have your twin on your subconscious mind and that's why your emotions are high and that's why your feelings are taking over you. You, you are remembering the nurturing, you are remembering the care that you need. See in both these pictures, this card, this relationship card, which is telling me that what is this relationship about? Naturally, it's Ten of Pentacles. It can be it can be long term contract. Maybe you are committed to this person from a very long time. And uh, at the same time, I feel that despite of being in this contract, this is a soul contract. This can be a soul contract, of course. This can be a marriage. You feel that it's only you. It's, it's only you alone. You can't see the effort from your person's side. You think that despite of being married to this person, you are living a single life. The Ten of Pentacles in this card is not like the usual Ten of Pentacles. It, it shows me that there's a lady sitting alone with the animals. There's no, there's no partner here. Despite of the Ten of Pentacles, despite of this family card, there's no partner here. Probably this person is overly focused upon their work and uh, you feel neglected by this person this is probably the person you're married to i don't see that this is your twin i feel that in the subconscious you have your twin this can be twin this can be soulmate this can be anybody but i see two energies around you this person despite of the fact they are so much occupied into themselves they are thinking that this connection is actually not worth putting in effort and uh, they are not realizing that there's a lot of hope. There is still a lot of hope. And you, what you are not realizing is that if you try and put in something, some effort to this connection, probably you both can restore stability. I think you both are not looking at the positive side of this connection. You both are neglecting the positive side of this connection. The seven of wands, see, you're blocking this connection. You're blocking, you're resisting something. And uh, probably you don't want your emotions to come out. You are hiding your emotions. I do feel that there's some other person on your mind. Very much possible your twin, your soulmate or somebody. But still, I feel that despite of this twin, despite of this person you're married to, you're committed to, there is still so much loneliness around you. 
I see very lonely energy. Very lonely energy here. Please clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Where is this connection going? Where is this connection heading towards? Please clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Okay. We have the King of Wands and Two of Swords. So, possibly, there can be a phase of decision, decisiveness. Right now, you're emotional, you're just looking. It's like so nurturing energy. You, you need to listen to your intuition. The Moon card here, a lonely lady is sitting here. Queen of Cups, a lonely lady is here. C, Seven of Pentacles, a lonely lady. I see there is a phase of loneliness. There is a phase of seclusion. There is a phase of... Where you're just taking care of yourself, you're listening to your intuition, but you're actually not working on any connection. You have your partner, your, your, your twin, your soulmate on your mind, but you're not doing anything towards them as well. You are losing hope in this connection as well. And the other partner, probably a married partner or somebody you are living with, this can be you're living with this person or you have a connection with this person other than other than love connection but you have to live with them you have to stay with them i see a lot of disconnect here probably this person is very egoistic and they don't want to look at you they don't understand that there's a lot of hope in this connection and uh, they want to put an effort but they don't have any practical plan to work on this connection mm -hmm. please clarify this king of wands who is this King of Wands coming towards you? I feel, Torians, that you are facing the choice, yeah? Ace of Cups, this is new love situation, the judgment. Probably the person who is on your mind. Probably This can be your twin. This can be Ten of Swords, yeah, Ten of Swords judgment. Something that came to an end in the past wants to revive. Something which came to an end in the past wants to get a judgment here. So what I feel that in the upcoming days of November, the last days of November, you might be going through a phase where you are confused, you're indecisive between a choice. It's your choice that what, this is a choice card, see, two of swords, indecisive choice. This person needs to think that whether I want to continue in this connection where despite of being in a family, despite of being in a commitment, in a long-term contract, I'm still alone. I'm still lonely. I don't have my partner really focused on me. Or you feel like choosing the King of Wands. Somebody who is very loyal and attracted towards you. I do feel that this King of Wands is coming towards you in the end of November. There's somebody who wants to approach you. There's somebody who's very attracted to you. And this person really wants to approach you and provide this cup of love to you. But I feel that you are going to be very, very uh, blindfolded here very blindfolded because you don't understand what is this connection about now you don't understand what decision you should make that's why probably this card is here that emotions are very high because two two the moon talks about emotions two number emotions here uh, the super moon it is also talking about emotions probably the partner you are with is not the ideal partner you wanted to be with and the person you want to be with is not available this person is unavailable i see this is not the i don't think that this is your twin this can be of course this can be the person you're waiting for but i see that this is a new love situation there's somebody other than this equation around your surroundings who really want to approach to you but you're blindfolded you you can't see this person coming this person is very loyal very very charismatic very attractive this person really wants to come to you. This person really wants to have a connection with you. And uh, I don't know why I feel that, but this person has a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion, very passionate energy. And they want to bring this cup towards you. They want to come towards you with this cup of love. But I guess you're not receptive to your, you're not receptive to that energy. You're blocking yourself. Your emotions are so high that you're blocking yourself and you're not receptive to the energy. This beautiful king of swords and a king of wands energy which is coming towards you. So, 
what i feel here maybe this is a this is an important message to you that your needs your, your dreams need a practical plan and this is what something i'm getting from this reading probably you have too much on the plate you have somebody you miss you have somebody probably the connection is over with that person and you have somebody you live your other person with whom you're living and the connection is not going anywhere with that person and moreover i feel that it can be this person who wants to come back to you there's a judgment and something that came to an end in the past yes page of pentacles probably this person wants to return to you this this king of wands can be the person you're thinking about but i still feel that this is a very fresh new energy i see multiple people here in this equation now the decision is in your hands torians because i feel that you're very indecisive right now you're not able to make a decision and your surroundings are full of illusion the one you are with you don't really want to be with them or maybe this person is not putting in the required effort they're too much focused on themselves and the one you want to be with is not available and somebody who is coming towards you you blindfolded you don't realize whether i should accept this person or not because i already have too much on my plate this new love condition this new emotion this new a uh, feeling that is coming towards me Am I actually receptive to it? You need to ask this question. Are you actually receptive to the energies which are coming towards you? You really need to open up your mind. This is the time. Probably I I feel that somebody's heart chakra is blocked. You really need to work on your heart chakra. It, it's like this person is blocking the heart chakra. See, this lady here is blocking the heart chakra here. If you try to open your eyes, you will realize that out of all this darkness there is a ray of light here but for that to look at that ray of light you need to remove this blindfold now you have to understand this is general reading now you have to understand what this blindfold is what this blindfold actually is what is stopping you from receiving the abundance and love of the universe that the universe wants to provide you now you have to realize what is this blockage here because i see some blockages you you blocking your emotions you blocking your heart and you're not receptive to the abundance of the universe you you're very blocked here i feel that the connection you are in is not the connection of your lifetime it's just a contract that you have to be in so my advice to you would be work on meditation you really need to meditate open up your heart chakra meditate and meditate and try to release the blocked energies in your heart chakra and accept the abundance of universe i really feel universe wants to send the abundant abundant surprises towards you there's ace of cups the king of wands four of wands these are the the star is here these are the surprises these are the gifts that the universe wants to send towards you but i think you are your you yourself are blocking your heart you yourself you are blocking the path by which the universe can send you all this come out of it uh, torians you really need to come out of this feeling and you really need to work on your emotions so thank you so much for watching this reading this is a general read it may not resonate with everyone do hit the subscribe button to stay updated with the videos and do write down in the comment section below how this resonates with you also for the private sessions please find my information in the description box thank you so much for watching bye bye take care